There are a number of reasons why we might want to initialize a variable value. It may well be that we want to increment or decrement it. If we wanted to initialize a variable that we could increment, we may start it off on a fairly low value like zero. If we wanted to initialize a variable that we could decrement, we may start it off on a slightly higher value, maybe even 100. We may also want to initialize a variable that we can append values to. In that case, we normally initialize it as an empty list. Finally, we may want to initialize a variable to use as a flag. A flag is used to indicate whether something has or hasn't happened yet. It would be quite normal to initialize these variables one at a time. So for instance, total equals zero. Shopping equals empty list. Finished equals false. But if we had more than one variable that we needed to initialize that had the same function, we could do it like this. Total equals maximum equals zero. Shopping equals bought equals empty list. Finished equals found equals false. Nice, eh?